everybody and welcome along to another episode of F1 Scenario Manager. This is a series where we play F1 20... No, we don't. We play F1 Manager 23. Uh, and uh, basically, we just do all the scenarios in the game. I'm not doing a career build on this game. I'm just going to do the scenarios on it. And today, it is rain in Bahrain. Of course, Bahrain is in the middle of the desert, I think. So it's not very likely to rain in Bahrain anytime soon in real life. But this isn't real life. So apparently, there's a downpour right for the race. And we've got to try and manage our way through it. Let's get into it. In the wet weather, anything can happen. A slippery trap might bring risks, but there are points up for grabs for any team that can make the most of this freak event. So this is a full race distance, and this is a slightly weird one, because I don't think there's any actual objectives. Objective just says finish with the best result possible. They all just say that. Anyway, Mercedes win, 46% of the vote. All right, let's do it. So we're starting, oh my word. Okay, fourth and 12th, very different starting positions then. Fourth is lovely, 12th not so lovely. You can't actually view the starting grid from this screen. I've always found that, found that a bit weird. So right now, apparently it's three and a half mil of water, which is just about inters. It's gonna get almost to wets, but not quite. And then it's gonna ease off. So it's definitely inters. Ideally, we make an inters last to about 30, then go straight to dries for a bit. And that, oh, that might not even get back to wets, you know. We'll see on that one. All right, let's do it. Fourth and twelfth, I am. So Hamilton's on the inside there. Didn't have like a great response from Hamilton there off the grid. Let's go on board with him. He's got Ferrari right behind him. Hopefully he's okay though. George Russell's still in twelfth. Russell's. Where is it? Here he is. They're both on the inside. Hamilton's still fourth for now. Been attacked by Bottas. So no Bottas. So no, lovely. We're done. Okay, Hamilton's still fourth. Russell's still twelfth, but very side by side. Oh, had to back out massively. That's cost him positions. That should have cost him one position, but he's thirteenth right now. Hamilton's still doing okay. Yeah, they're okay. They're okay. I've gone to neutral deployment now, but I'm going to put them... I think I'm going to put them both on Battle Assist. Battle Assist sounds good to me. It's use the ERS when, when and where you need to defend. That's the main use of it, really, unless you're on your own with no cars around you. Wait, Magnussen overtakes Russell. Were they side by side? I didn't even clock it. Right. Stupid looking at ERS. They were. I didn't even clock they were side by side. Oh, no, wait. No, that wasn't overtake. It was Hulkenberg, wasn't it? It was the other Haas. We have just genuinely just lost a position. I didn't even notice. Right, good. Hamilton really dropping back now, but the t we can't push any harder on the tyres. Okay, well, look, Hamilton's going to push a bit harder because he needs to. He can't fall back into the clutches. He's P4 right now, which is not a bad position, but he can't fall back any further than that. Oh, good. Is Russell just going to overtake him again? Yes, he is. Is Russell all right? What's going on? They are absolutely rinsing their tyres. They are down to 91%. I'm hoping this will come back to pay me later on. Yeah, Russell's just given up. Can't be asked anymore. Okay, last lap time was actually a tenth quicker than Max. So, oh, hello. Huge. They to give nice. No DRS, of course. We've done. Beautiful. All right. Go on. Go on, Russell. Yes. Yes. Use the fuel. Use the ERS. Send it. Late brakes. Oh. Oh. Very nearly hit him then. That was close. No DRS is going to make this difficult. What's the forecast looking now? It's all the same, really. Nothing much has changed. Don't use battle assist. Oh, brilliant. Is it, is it terrible, is it? All right. Fine. Go then. Alta should have picked Yeah, Alta has definitely picked up the pace. Now we've got him to push on his engine as well. Oh, he's using the ERS, of course, as well. Oh, hello. Big old lunge. Beautiful. Go on, George. Beautiful move that was. I'm going to go back down to neutral and hope for the best. We are still side by side, but I believe in him. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Right. Okay, out to P12. P13, sorry. Hamilton. There's a small advantage to Hamilton until he gets to the car. Hello, around the outside. Go on. Keep going. Deploy the ERS. Yeah, job done. Job done. Now, Hamilton right now is relatively comfortable. What's all that? Hamilton's not... Oh, oh, there's a McLaren off. There's a McLaren off. You see that? We'll probably get a replay of it. There you go. Norris locked up. That's a free position. You see, that's just in the background there, right at the top of your screens. Just locked up. Went straight on. And through we go. Go on. Send it. Send it. Oh, hello. Piastri. Oh, dear. McLaren have had a terrible couple of laps there, then. <laughs> what was that? That was vehicular warfare, that was. Yes. Send it. Send it. Yes. Send it. Accelerate. Yes. He's surely he's got it. He's got it. Surely. Uh, where's he gone? No! What? Claim the position, Russell! Claim it! Yeah, okay, he's finally got it. Russell, yes. Yeah, similar pace to the cars in front, but quicker, it's quicker than the car behind. That's good. Well, be patient with George Russell, but with Hamilton, I just don't like this gap keeps flying up. I mean, again, that last lap, almost two seconds slower than Max. What's going on? Why has Lewis got no pace? They're both just sort of stuck. They just both just haven't got any more pace than this. George is now falling back. I'm really confused what's happening in this race. I think we just got no pace. I think Mercedes just got no pace. Got no fans. Right. Let's just do it. I'm just going to put Russell on deploy and see what happens. Yes. Yes. Go on, George. On the outside? No, not quite. Oh, wait. Yep. Yeah. He's got it. He's done it. That was terrible camera work. Oh, no, he hasn't done it. Oh, they hit each other. 
They hit each other. So George Russell just goes off the track for some reason. And then Perez... I don't really know. It looked like George Russell. It looked like George Russell just turned in on him. Perez also got some damage. We... We... Oh, that's a good point. Confidence will have dive bomb. Yeah, it has. Major front wing damage. Minus shaft damage. Minus suspension damage. We got 19% on the tyres, which is absolutely... Took about 50% off our, off our tyre life. Uh... It's about to dry up. We can't box now for another set of inters. Just go full send and pray. Let's see how slow he is. We got a penalty for that as well. Very good. Hamilton's just got no pace. I think Hamilton's just set for P4. I think it's time to fire George. Yeah, oh, who's oh, that's Perez boxing. We're going we're gonna to leave George out there. Obviously, they're going to be a pit stop apart now. Yeah, Russell is losing a chunk of time, but I, I just haven't really got a choice with him. He just needs to stay out. There's, there's, there's a damage at the front. Look at that. Perfect, perfect picture of the front wing damage there. Can't really. Oh yeah, you can. Look, there's a hole. There's a whole end plate missing. Look. Anyway, his race is pretty much muddy now. So right, let's get on to go full push. George, box this lap, please, my friend. Wait, has he got a puncture now as well? He's got a puncture now as well. One lap. We left about one lap too long. He's got a rear right puncture. God's sake. Right, there's the five second penalty. There's the wing change. Tires are on. Thirteen second stop. Penalty and wing change. Brutal, man. Yeah, that's us there. We're gonna be lapped. Very good. Is he going to be quick, though? That's the question. Come on, he's got to get lap cars through. This is the worst. Here we go. So it's definitely this lap, then. So I was just going to go hards to the end on Hamilton. But I'm thinking I might switch. I mean, I probably should have put George on hards, but I think I might switch around now and go medium soft for Hamilton. They've almost got a pit stop gap to me anyway. If I go hards, they'll get a pit stop gap to me, then it's goodbye. So they're not boxing. The leaders didn't box. And this is, this is definitely ready for slicks. I'm surprised they didn't box, because this is definitely ready for slicks. Could end up gaining quite a bit on the guys in front now. Come on, Hamilton. Full send. Point A Miller. Oh, good. Of course, there's some traffic. Oh, this race is really not going our way. Get out of the way, Bottas. This has been such an interesting undercut. We will, no, we will never know. We'll never know whether that undercut would have worked. Actually, you should box. Surely Bottas boxes. Yeah, cool. Right. Well, I mean, they're both in very separate races now. Hamilton's just chilling out front. Not well, relatively in P4 on his own. And Botta and, and Russell's doing the same thing at the back. 13 seconds back for everybody. Perez ended up ahead of us. We should have boxed. I didn't, I didn't foresee a puncture. Oh, God. 8.76. Yes, Hamilton is a chunk quicker. I'll tell you what, Hamilton's quicker than Leclerc. Now, Leclerc's very slow for some reason right now. The guys in front are way quicker, but Leclerc is not fast. Softs do seem very fast. I'll tell you what, those soft runners have pulled out a big old gap. Might have been better to go soft, soft, you know. They're not so fast as laps flying. Russell's been lapped again. Very good. Yeah, three tenths slow on the clerk. Now, we're also slow on the guys. But how would, Mercedes just got no pace in this race. We're 17 laps from the end. I'll tell you what, Stappen's got a longish stint to do now. But he's already ahead of us, so it won't matter. <laughs> the tyres are actually looking okay. That means we, uh, we actually can't push the softs any harder on this, though, can we? So, yeah, we'll box as soon as we can. We, if we push the softs any harder, they'll just disintegrate. Uh, yeah, we'll go softs this lap. Alton started fourth. Like he's going to finish the race fourth. Signs is closing in, to be fair. Let's see what Signs does. How's George getting on? George is going to box this lap as well. Once again for softs. I think this is the right strategy. Russell just had a muddy race and Hamilton's just had no pace. Yellow flag. Is that George? Of course it was. George is having one of the worst races in the world. Of course. Very good. Get in the bin. So take Charles and honestly don't care. For P18, just don't care. Get out of my sight. Right, Hamilton now in DRS range. Sergeant, we overtakes Russell. Brilliant. Yep, good. Now pushing pretty hard on these tyres. Oof, that was close. Don't crash into him. You've got P4 in the bag, Hamilton. He actually doesn't do anything anymore in this game. Remember, he used to be OP in last year's game, and now he just doesn't do anything. All right, that's GG's. See you later. I mean, the, I mean 26... He's not going to close that down in seven laps, is he? So there's still nothing else that Hamilton can do. Just run away from signs, and that's it. How are signs suddenly sticking to us? Go away, signs. Oh, signs, get in the bin. How is he suddenly sticking to us? I guess we're pushing on the fuel for. Let's deploy some ERS just to try and get him out of DRS range. Stop towing him along. I think this is it. I don't think there's any other objective to this. We, we, I felt like we've done terribly. It's just not mattered. 35 seconds back from the leader. Nothing happened. There was no safety car. There was a bit of rain, Sean. It is, it is starting to rain now, by the way, but it's not supposed to get... Yeah, look. You get a tiny bit wet and that's it. Russ is right with these guys. It just doesn't matter. He's so low. Alonso has done it. And there we go. Alonso is today's Grand Prix winner. Lewis Hamilton takes MP4. I mean... Mercedes just didn't have the pace today. There's no real getting around that. P4 is not a bad result by a mile. Miles in front, mile behind. Signs actually just challenged us, so fair play to Signs. But look, 10 seconds in front, 10 seconds behind. <laughs> so have we just passed? Is it just finished the race? Not even finished the race, it's just do the race, I think. Which is silly, because you could just put it on 16x and just leave it. Oh, it's points, I see. And that's it. It's done. I like the idea, rain in Bahrain. I like the concept. But there wasn't that much rain. It just started into us and then we went slicks. That was it. There was no further rain. There was no drama with the weather. Bit of a rubbish one, that one. Not going to lie to you guys.
bit disappointed that's the third challenge I've done on it, so it's a bit rubbish. Now, there is some others like this. So here, look, Frozen Seafront. It's the same thing. Any team, and there's no, no real objective. This one does sound kind of interesting, just saying it's really cold. But if it's not extreme enough, and all it ends up being is... It takes one extra lap to warp your tires. Well, I don't care. It's not, it's not, that's not interesting enough. You know what I mean? So uh, in the future, I will make sure that a, 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 if there's no objective to an event in for Manager, it is actually interesting. If it's not actually interesting, I just won't do it because, yeah. Well, we had a lot of fun on the previous ones, the ones that are genuinely challenging, but those ones just weren't really that fun. So, yeah, I'll keep an eye on that future, guys. Uh, and that's it. I'm actually taking Friday off now. Um, got Jody come over to visit. I uh, got, got into the barrier coming to visit as well on Friday evening, so looking forward to that. So I'm going to take Friday off. But I will be streaming either Sunday night, probably not Sunday night, more likely early Monday morning. I'm sure you can see where this is going. With, uh, with the early Monday morning. So uh, look out for that one, guys. But and again, I'm live tomorrow with Carp anyway, so that's next time you'll see me live. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.